Fashion Showcase. I have a very special guest next to me, Mr. Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa. How are you, Kari? I'm so good, Stacey. Good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you again. And I know it's uh, Mortal Kombat's 20-year anniversary. Don't remind me. <laughs> I'm sorry for reminding you. <laughs> no, actually, I, I'm, I'm happy and, and I'm amazed how much um, people still appreciate the film. And it just has been one of those experiences globally, wherever I go. Absolutely. It, you know, I, I was amazed. Here's the most interesting story I've heard traveling the planet that back in the day when Russia still censored having certain films, and mostly American films, and they were bootleg. And while it was bootleg, it was an experience for them to pay money to go to somebody's house in order to watch Mortal Kombat. And so it, it's really a phenomenon there, along with Showdown Little Tokyo. That great movie as well. Oh, well, I, thanks. I, I really enjoyed both. So I'm getting ready to go to Russia, and um, and part of it, uh, I'll probably be reminded. It's the 20th. <laughs> probably again and again throughout this whole year. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is special. It, yeah. The movie holds up uh, through. I, mm -hmm. I think for another 20 years, it will hold mm -hmm. up. And I know they're celebrating it here at the Urban Action Showcase. Yeah, yeah. It, it's been wonderful, especially. You know, to be here among martial artists who, who appreciate what the film really began. It was the sort of highlight of American martial arts at the time. And this is before Jackie Chan and Jet Li came. So there was still a, a whole air about it that Mortal Kombat capitalized on. And you really set the trend. Well, we certainly did our job. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely did. But also, you have a lot of other nice things coming out, yeah. and I know you did uh, Little Boy, the movie, which yeah. was a little different role for you, which which we yeah. saw, it was fantastic. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that. I, I really appreciate being able to play a good guy. <laughs> And, for, and, for once. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'd done that in, in a Disney movie called Johnny Tsunami, where I played a grandfather. So it was that sort of relationship and um, in Little Boy. And it was, it was a beautiful, beautiful film. And also I wanted to talk a little bit about Amazon has mm. a nice uh, movie going on mm. right now on mm. Amazon.com is a Man in the High Castle. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about your character and your role in it? The series, the 10 part series yes. that, that starts on November 20th, Amazon Prime, is a science fiction novel turned online um, about the fictional account if Germany and Japan had won World War II and what America would be like. Um, amazing that a man in, in 62 could conceive of such a thing. It, it just blows my mind that he had the kind of mind and courage to, to write this story. Very interesting from the beginning. I play the trade minister of the Western Pacific States for the Japan. And um, a lot of interesting little twists and turns that I can't tell you anything about. No, you but, can't give us a scoop? <laughs> no, no but, but they did show the pilot and the second episode already in, in certain venues in Comic-Con. Um, and from that... It was based off a novel, is that yeah, correct? Called Man in the High Castle. In, in 1962, Philip K. Dick is the author. Um, just... You have to hand it to Amazon to take the risk to make a project that sort of controversial and, and that expensive. It's massively expensive. It's on the order of Game of Thrones and what it, what it is for HBO. So we're very proud of it and uh, hope all my fans will want it. Absolutely. Uh, we're looking forward to that. That's November 20th, you yes. said? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us that you might have coming out in the future? And well, I'm on my way to Russia to premiere a film that I did there about two and a half years ago. It's called Ide's Son, 
and uh, I play a Russian Orthodox priest. There's Russian Orthodox history in Japan for 200 years. And so this story is of a priest of modern day who is sent back to Russia to help rebuild a church. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And, and also, for the kind of films, more of my own nature, kind of a spiritual nature. Um, very excited to receive the, uh, the enjoyment of the Russian people because it's a Russian film and I learned so much about Russia while I was there. I, Do you speak Russian? I speak just enough to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Russian but I don't know anything and, and no, I don't know how to speak Russian. <laughs> well one thing I can say to all Americans, we know nothing about the Russians. Russians are beautiful people. They're deeply, deeply spiritual people. I went to one town where at one time they had 700 churches in the town. That's a group of people who are deeply spiritual and committed to their religion. Searching for a truth. Yes, yes, absolutely. And as, as harsh as their winners are, their personalities are absolutely hardy. They are not wimps. <laughs> they are not spoiled. They are deeply, deeply committed heart people. Well, we'll definitely look forward to that. And do you know, is it out anywhere yet? Can people find well, it they, on? Well, no, no. You won't find it anywhere until, first of all, it premieres in Moscow and St. Petersburg, Sochi, where we're going. And by the end of this month, it'll be out in Russia. And from there, I don't have any idea yet. I'll find out more when I get there. I'm looking forward to it. And please tell everybody where they can find you, if you have a Facebook, Twitter account. Right. It's at kerryhiroyukitagawa.com. Really, and thank you, Carrie, um, so much. I really appreciate the interview. You're an inspiration, and uh, everybody loves Mortal Kombat, but you're much more than Mortal Kombat. And I know you're a martial artist, you're a sports physiologist as well. Kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot about you. So thank you once again for the thank interview, and look out for Carrie here, Yuki Tagawa, and upcoming projects and the 20th year anniversary of Mortal Kombat. This is Stacy Meyer with Your It TV. This is Kerry Hiroiki Tagawa for Your It TV.